Hey guys, it's Fleur's Day. So, there are two citywide garage sales starting today. I'm on my way to go pick up my mom and we're gonna go head out to one right now. I didn't know what you had for pricing. There is, it's just, you just give me a whatever. A buck a piece? Is that, that okay? All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. make a little pile. Yeah, sure. Go <laughs> Keep ahead. finding more and more. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is back here. Awesome. Thank you. Yes.
That's kind of unique. jewelry it wasn't marked but I did find all that um, in this what, like buck uh, two can you open that? There you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dollar for her doll. Okay. All right guys now a few hours later I am back home. Here's everything we got. I'm gonna go through it really quickly with you guys. Something I got that I'm debating if I want to keep is this gelish LED um, like gel curing lamp for nails. It is 20. However, I did comp it and there was a few listed for around 200. Although I think it was a kit that comes with some, uh, polishes and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how much I could get for just the lamp, but I know that these lamps are very expensive. This one even has an LED touch pad on it, which is pretty neat. Um, the one I have isn't this advanced, but it is pretty cool. See right there. Either way, I might keep this, not sure if I decide not to, I'll go ahead and sell it, but I do have a couple of lamps that I could replace with this one because this is a very nice one and I do my nails very often. So that is cool. Then we got this whole box right here. So we got this clock. It's not worth much, but I did think it was cool. Got two Scentsy warmers. This one is Nebraska Corn Huskers. I might try to sell this at the um, garage sale that we're about to go do on Saturday in two days, and I still haven't even prepped anything for it, really. <laughs> it's a little stressful. Then we got this Scentsy. You could tell because of that. And also, if you happen to see a warmer and you're not sure if it's Scentsy, it'll also sometimes say it on the bottom. Or I believe if you look at this little cord here, it does say Scentsy as well, I thought, but maybe not. No. Okay, so... Um, Here's the top for that. A dollar, guys, for that. Three dollars for the Nebraska one, which I guess, <laughs> you know. Um, got these salt and pepper shakers for a dollar for the two. Very pretty. Starting to get into these weird colored salt and pepper shakers. Then we got this Pampered Chef. It's like a little cast iron pan. I don't know if it's supposed to have a lid, but pretty cool. Moving on to the next thing here, I did grab this bag. It is Dolce & Gabbana. Where does it say it at? I forgot where it said it, but I paid five bucks for that. And then I paid a dollar for this, it is Coach. And I did look at it and it does look to be authentic. I'm not super well versed in Coach bags. And then we got, oh, this, um, my mom gave it to me actually today. This is my old jacket it is rock band but i think i might try to sell it if not i might keep it if it doesn't sell oh there it goes or there it is you can see right there and then this is a fossil purse it is leather very soft you can tell you can smell it and then this 31 little wallet for 50 cents and also in this box at the sale i got this little fenton little swan dish for 75 cents and there were some trinkets that I found. I found this really cool 
parrot pin with real feathers on it. I didn't notice, but there is a little tiny, what looks like a possible signature, although I'm not sure, but I thought it was pretty neat. The really exciting thing I found, because they only charged me a dollar for this handful I got. So in this ring, it does say 14 karat. I'm assuming 14 karat white gold, although this is really cool. Um, it is really tiny though. It doesn't even fit on my pinky finger. So <laughs> that's pretty tiny. I uh, got this really cool little tiger's eye pendant. Really tiny. And then a few little bracelets. Um, they are all marked with the same maker. What was it again? There's a little maker there on there. I can't quite read it. Um, I think it was all Sarah Coventry. Yeah, they're all Sarah Coventry. There's three bracelets here. So yeah, pretty cool. Next in here, I grabbed some Scentsy. I use Scentsy warmers in my house. This was only 10 cents, so I went in and grabbed it. Usually, if they're less than a dollar, I'll grab it, especially if it's a full bar, because that's just really worth it, <laughs> especially with the pricing that they are charging for normal bars now. I got a few of these. Um, how many? Four. For 75 cents a piece, it says bombshell, and I did see a comp for around 11. It looks like it was originally $32, so that's pretty neat. Got a lava lamp, which they wrapped up because they dropped it on the table when I <laughs> brought it up there. And uh, luckily it didn't break, but that's okay. Uh, got these really cool boots. These were the last things that I bought today. Paid $25. They are Ariat Fat Babies. They are my size, so if they don't sell, I guess we can try to keep them. Although they're not quite my style, but they are very cute. Couple of shoes. I paid six for these. My new goal now is to only pick up shoes that are in very good condition and need no cleaning. So these are in pretty good shape. Grabbed those. Also at the sale with the lava lamp, I grabbed this dolphin lamp as well as this whole thing of Minecraft figures I paid a dollar for. And let me see if there's anything else in there. I almost forgot. I grabbed some of these things. I comped something in here. I think it was this and it had a really good sell through rate. Although I'm a little nervous about it because I'm not sure if it might be a Vero, but we did pay $4. We also got a Moroccan oil kit and some other little makeup-y things that are worth a little bit of money. Then we got these two games for a buck a piece. I didn't look them up, but I, um, they were in a huge pile of sports games and these were the only ones that weren't sports. And I figured, I know Little Big Planet is a good seller, but I'm not sure about for PS4. And then also at the sale with all the bags, I also grabbed this for ten dollars it's like a first class or not a first class um a carry-on bag and it also has like the little the little handle in there pretty cool i went ahead and paid ten for it got this for a buck i don't think it's worth much but i thought it was super cute and i don't remember what's in here <laughs> um oh a hot roller set grabbed another one and i think that's all that's in that bag Sorry, I had to get closer to the ground. I am out of breath. I didn't comp this, but I grabbed it. Looks like it's a Kool-Aid Man little canteen for a buck. Now, we went to one sale. You'll see this on the GoPro footage, but I grabbed this. Not for the things inside, but the container itself actually sells. So, I thought that was really cool. And we also got this little kitschy planter thing. I didn't comp that either, but thought I'd take a chance on it for a buck. And next, we got a couple of cool vintage Blast from the Past jackets, a Reebok, and a, this one says active stuff, but I thought the colorway, color wave or colorway? That's a term people use, but I don't like that. I don't know exactly. Um, anyways, got those. Throw those there. Then we got a couple of bags, two of these Tommy Bahama duffel bags and one Juicy Couture bag. It still has the little plastic on the metal. Paid three dollars a piece for those and went to a sale. Got a bunch of Vera Bradley. I did pay up though. I did pay like ten for this one, and then five for this one. I don't know why they had them priced differently. They're literally the same bag, just different color. Um, they had a bunch of other ones too. This little Vera Bradley. There is some thirty-one in there too. Another Vera Bradley. This was a coach. I don't remember how much I paid for that. Maybe a couple bucks. Vera Bradley. Vera Bradley in older fanny pack and this little 31 little pouch and that i think is everything we got guys i am exhausted and there are two more citywides tomorrow i don't know yet if i'm gonna wear a gopro or not 
because I think I will be by myself and I don't usually like to wear a GoPro when I'm going to sales by myself. So there's everything we got. I will see you guys tomorrow. And in the last bag we have, right here I paid 20 or 25 for this Harley Davidson jacket. I only got it because I did sell that one with blue flames on it just a, just a little bit ago. Um, and this one's pretty cool as well. It's in good condition, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Got this for two bucks. I did not mean to just throw that so aggressively. <laughs> This for five, it looks like it has a really good sell through rate. Three sold, one listed currently. Sells for around 30, 35, 40. Got a couple of these really old Nebraska Cornhuskers hats. I was really surprised at the price. Um, and it looks like they do sell. They're not in the best condition. Got this for free. I think my mom found this. Yeah, so I might try to turn this into an art project. You can kind of see there was something glued there before. So I could probably do something with that. And. Good morning guys, it is Friday. I just woke up a little bit ago. We're sitting here in my car, getting ready to go to the next sale. Got my Celsius, sponsor me. <laughs> um, so we got one citywide starting here in about 30 minutes. And then we have another citywide that's supposed to start tomorrow, but this town is really close to the other town that's having the citywide. So I'm hoping that some people maybe start today because I'm not going to be able to show up to that citywide tomorrow. We've also got a church sale later today and um, yeah, lots of stuff going on. I'm super tired, but we got to keep going. Good morning. Your backpack is brand new. Okay. It's three dollar to fill a bag of books. Four or? books only. This is all the books are from Meadow Grove Library. Okay. So they'll have a sticker and then. How big are the bags? I have those. Okay. Hold I on might be second. interested. Okay. No, take your time. That actually goes. Awesome. Thank you. You recording? Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, a grocery store back in town. <laughs> Sounds good. Hi, girls. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Here's one more. Oh, awesome. Thank you. How much is on your jewelry? Um, uh, everything is best offer. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm done. I those and then I see that these Okay. And all that jewelry in the lava lamp. Say so how much are you asking on the spoons, especially if you have more? I might be willing to buy them. Let me bring the rest of them. Okay, I'll take a look at these ones though. Okay. <laughs> Know that those four duplicates. Okay. Cool. Oh, Hopefully it warms up today. Yeah. I'm praying. <laughs>
<laughs> you got a little collection. There are. They're all silver. Okay. Except for the Kennedy one. They go to Nixon. So 36 spoons. Mm hmm. What do you think would. I have no idea on the value or how common they are. I just know I haven't seen them before and they look cool. How about Especially five dollars? Five bucks for all of them? All of them. Including these? Including those. Sure. I can't say no to five for that many. <laughs> okay. I'll go ahead and just get all that and then those. And you already said twelve on that? Twelve. Okay. So seventeen. And I got two helpers that'll help you take your cup. Here's 20 and I don't need change. Just take the 20. Are you sure? Yeah, you're giving me a really good deal for everything. So. Okay. Oh, they're... I'm looking at you, though. Oh, they're all the same. I like how your guys' ad said no baby clothes. And oh, I was like, yep, yeah. I'm going to that one. <laughs> I know. There's so many sales I went to yesterday where, yeah, it was just mainly <laughs> baby clothes. I was like, oh man. this time and they're just they are beautiful <laughs> is your official start? 10 o'clock. Okay. Probably won't be completely ready by then either, but, um, okay. but feel free to look around. Sounds yeah. good. I don't know if there's a price tag on there. That might be an over, but I'm doing about 25 cents for anything in that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. I'll grab that.
much on the shoes? Um, Jamie, how much you want for those shoes? How much do you want me to do? <laughs> hey, Jack! Have you still got this unit? I don't know. Oh, my. Is um, $5? Is that too much to No, have? that's fine. Five. I think, okay. Five. Okay, fine. Bring it. Five. Awesome. You still got this unit? Yeah. Are you going to be here today? Those are um, a men's eight, but fit like a women's, like oh, okay. eight and a half, ten. I bought them for myself, wore them once, and didn't wear them again. What'd you have on those? Uh, I don't know. What's like, what do you think? <laughs> like I said, I, we're flexible. You said it fits more like a... It fits like a women's nine and a half. Okay. It oh, is a men's size. eight, like a women's nine and a half. Okay. Size. I'm like a nine and a half. Okay. Yeah, that's my size too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... And these are the box that came with yes, them. Yep. Um, leave it down, please. Would you do 10 on these ones? 12. 12. I'll think about it. They look, are they maybe warm once? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do 10. Okay. okay. I want them to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yes. I'll make a little pile here. I'll just yes, throw them. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Hey guys. So this is the haul from what's today friday morning so there's more sales later today but i figured i'd bring in everything i bought so far and show it to you guys first off i did get this table it's like a wicker type painted black they wanted two bucks figured i'd grab it for myself because i think it's pretty cute and i got the work of getting it painted done for me already got this starbucks tumbler for 50 cents I may try to sell this at my garage sale tomorrow and just slap like two bucks on it or something. I don't know. Um, I'm going to value it on eBay and see how well it goes for. If it doesn't go for much, I'll just try to sell it tomorrow. One sale I went to had a bunch of books. It was fill a bag for $3 for books. So I got a bunch of book sets. So there they are. There's some in here, some here. There's also some jewelry I picked up at that sale. Nothing super amazing. But I did find some cool pieces like this cool dolphin watch. Got a, another vintage lava lamp. This one is the same brand as the purple one that I just sold. Except the base is in pretty bad shape. Um, actually now I'm looking at it, it's not that bad. But there is a couple dings in it. And it's a little like off, not off center, but it's not quite a circle. It's a little bit more oval shaped. There's more books in there. There's a spoon collection like a presidential spoon collection for five bucks got a new pair of nikes in the box for 10 got these nikes for five i only got them because they are like the newer ones i think these are called Kyrie's, i believe like nike Kyrie's. anyways more books got babysitter's club like a whole bunch of them there's some vampire diaries stuff like that and here we have Sarah Coventry. Oh, it opened. Okay. Well, a little Sarah Coventry pin and earring set. There's the other earring. Got that for a buck. As well as this little, like, clay mariachi set, which I'll show you guys at some other point. But there's what one of them looks like. There's, I think, four or five of them. She wanted a buck for all of them, so I figured I'd pick that up. Got a... Like, it, this is like a Baby Bratz doll, but it's like the Jumbo one. Found a Monster High doll back there. What else did I get from there? I can't remember what's in this little bag right here. Um, oh, a swung vase. Another swung vase, guys. I have one that looks a lot like it right now. Two pairs of Doc Martens sandals. Paid 10 bucks a piece, but I know right now in the summer, they're very hot items. So that's why I picked them up at that price. Then I got this. Might keep this for personal use. Oh, and don't mind the tape on the floors. We just got our floors finished, so. Got this for two bucks. Might keep it for personal use. If not, we'll sell. Got this for three bucks. Pretty neat. Um, this glass vase. It's Murano style. I don't know if it's actually Murano. Five bucks. And then some Frankenstein blow mold lights in there. And I think that's everything we've picked up so far which isn't awful. There is a church sale this afternoon and I may go back to the town that a lot of this, the city-wide that a lot of this was from because a lot more of the sales don't start till the afternoon, but I'll see how I'm feeling here in a little bit. I just wanted to come home and rest for a bit.